Hello everyone, I am Renown Zero, and we're back again talking about Suri coming again at Air July because again he believes that he's going to somehow out monetize Air July, who is basically the king of monetizing their haters. So this comes to us again from the Ripper vs. Gold Pulse Twitter account. There's about 10 clips you're gonna have to react to. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but hopefully we can get through it in a decent amount of time. So if at the end of the video. You know, hit the like button if you like it. Comment below here about your feelings. Do not go to their social media and harass or talk or say anything to them. Leave all your comments in the comment section down below. So we're going to start here where this person is going to reveal their face. This is going to be the first times I'm really looking at these clips and going through them and commentating on them. So we're going to jump right into the first one. Let's pull up the big screen here. Let's jump into it. If they actually are transported. Oh god, he's so pissed about that. Yeah, these people, uh, it's good these persons are B2, but they're not gonna put themselves out there. Lord knows what the hell is on their, um, you know, hard drive and all kinds of other weird stuff. Nonetheless, ah, now I understand why so much of Young Rip is audience. So first things first, comparing the current avatar that they're using to their previous one, now their cleavage is more exposed on the avatar. We already know that the person is a male who apparently goes by he, they pronouns, which is weird. Essentially, you need to call yourself they because it seems to be the only way you can get a bitch and the only bitch that you have to present for yourself is your VTuber model. So, we're gonna continue on now. And decided to call me a pedophile. So first of all, let's go ahead and get one thing out of the way. Ignoring the fact that my cats have just destroyed this, my public face... So, honestly, you look like DSP. You look like DSP. Or you look like you could be DSP's father. Because that's what you look like, and it's essentially the same type of people that Eric is always talking about when it comes to his detractors. Always seem to be obese white people. So, it's these weirdo people. It's always the same types. It's always these ugly, obese type of people that come after Eric July's neck and spit all this noise on the internet. This is public information. My first and last name are public information. I like that young Rippa, eh, we'll go ahead and go with escalation theory. I like how young Rippa is fucking stupid enough to say that without actually doing any bit of research. It's about the same amount of research that he's done. Well, he says that about all of his attractors. If you knew anything about his content, you would actually know that already. Which you also say that you would never say any of the nonsense you're saying to him to his face, because I can guarantee just by looking at your soy ass, you would never, ever do that. You would never be able to have a conversation with Eric July unless you're behind your little VTuber weird fantasy you got going on over here. ...done for anything else on his channel, so I guess it really stands to read. I can guarantee he does more research about the things he talks about than you do, because typically when you're on YouTube, you gotta have some sense of morality and honesty about what you're talking about. You can't just go around spewing egregious lies about stuff. For the most part. But, again, you want to talk about research. You didn't bring any research in the last few clips that you made about him. You didn't bring any research of knowing about his content or his character in the recent clips. So, I'd be the last person talking about bringing kind of any kind of evidence to support anything you've ever said. Reason. I shouldn't expect more than he's intellectually capable of. But I can guarantee he'll out intellectually be more he, I guarantee he's intellectually more, ca more capable than you'll ever be in your entire life but yes my face is well known my name is well known these are not things I hide these are not aspects of myself so why are you using a vtuber model that's essentially supposed to attract what is essentially young boys if you're not hiding who you are which you clearly are you're hiding behind a vtuber model which I'm not saying all people who use VTuber models hide behind that, but you seem to be one of those people because you're essentially using a VTuber model that doesn't even represent your born gender. Just saying, it's a little weird. That I keep away from my community. And somehow you claim to not be a groomer or a pedophile. Every stream I go live on year recently is a mix between VTuber streaming and IRL streaming. You guys see it all the time. Every time one of my pets comes into the room, I turn on the camera and let you guys know. You know, like that 
well, no, opposites. There we go. That one right there. Like that, that little baby right over there. Anytime that happens, I turn on the camera. People know what I look like. It's not an awkward thing. It's just a thing I do. The actual story for why I use a VTuber avatar is also well known by my audience. And I literally have a video, it's the first video you see on my channel, that explains why. It's the lore video. And, you know, it's a 55 minute video. I can understand not wanting to watch it. Hell, I'm not going to watch all of your video. So you're essentially having gripes about Eric July without actually watching the content that you're supposed to be critiquing. Make it make sense. The fact of the matter is, though, information about why I use a VTuber avatar, how it's utilized, the steps that were taken to actually make that a thing, that's all public info. You decided to just knee-jerk reaction and respond to somebody's Twitter clips of my video. Because that's what Eric July is really good at doing, monetizing his haters, which is essentially you're complaining that he's not doing his research, but you clearly haven't done research on the fact that he monetizes fat, overweight motherfuckers like you. Instead of doing any research for yourself. But that's why we're going to make money off of each other. You don't you ain't going to make that much money off of him. He's going to make like a thousand times more money on you than you would ever make on him. Trust me when I say that. Don't want to do the research into my whole video. I'm not going to watch all of your video. Yeah, it's a fair back and forth, I think. If one of us is going to be fucking stupid, we might as well both be. I can guarantee you're going to be the only one that's going to be stupid by the end of this. You're going to realize that you're beating a dead horse and you're never going to out-monetize Eric July. He's like <laughs> the king, like I said, the king of monetizing his haters. All right, moving on to the next one. Because last time, now all of a sudden you want to talk about tokenization. Last time, you didn't you didn't know a goddamn thing about what tokenization was. You want to claim that Eric doesn't know what tokenization was, even though he specifically talked about this in many videos. And now all of a sudden you want to come on and try to explain yourself after the fact. Roll the clip. I benefit. I don't feel the need to give it to him as well. But... Let's talk about the definition of tokenism first. It's the practice of making only a perfunctory or sim uh, symbolic effort to do a particular thing, especially by recruiting a small number of people from an underrepresented group in order to give the appearance of sexual or racial equality within a workforce. So essentially you're admitting that Miles Morales is Miles Morales and he's a complete copy of Peter Parker. Congratulations, you figured it out. Making a character who is black is not tokenism. Yes, it is. It is 100% tokenism. When you take an established white character in Peter Parker that is Spider-Man and essentially recreating his origin story and powers set to fit a narrative of Miles Morales, which once again... As I'm sure Eric has stated and I have stated, there are executives who have specifically stated that Miles Morales was essentially created to have a black Spider-Man. It's not an opinion. It's not up for debate. It's a factual statement that was made by someone over at Marvel. You're trying to argue this tokenism of Miles Morales, Miles Morales when executives over at Marvel has clearly stated that that's what he is. You're being disingenuous. There's nothing about that that is tokenism. That's just a character who is black. Again, if you did your research, you would know that you're lying, and that is a false statement. I I'm, I'm sorry. If you do something specifically to prevent criticism and give an appearance that people are being treated fairly, then that is tokenism. When white people were thrown into the mix of enemies in Resident Evil 5, so that it seemed like it wasn't just black people being shot in that game. The story behind Resident Evil 5 is because people were calling the game racist when you were shooting black zombies when you are in Africa, which is the main race of Africa. And I'm sure there, I am sure. There are some white people in South Africa, which is pretty well known. But at the same time, the majority of race that lives in Africa are black. I'm sorry if this is such a wow 
mind-blowing moment for you. But yes, the majority race in Africa are black people, unfortunately. I know it's, it's, a, it's facts are facts are hard. That is an example of tokenism. They were only brought in solely for the purpose of alleviating criticism. Yes, alleviating criticism, which makes no sense. By the way, they also had Chinese zombies in Resident Evil 5, which also makes no sense when you're in Africa. So... Also, another example of this would be the trans character that was dropped in uh, Hogwarts Legacy. They are a token character because the devs... The trans character that is in... The trans character that is in Hogwarts Legacy is not a tokenized character. The trans character was an original character that they simply created for Hogwarts Legacy. It wasn't originally a white character or a straight character or anything like that. Or a male character. And change to change gender, race, or anything like that. That's not what tokenism is. Once again, you are an idiot. Specifically, have said you continue to prove that you are an idiot. That they did it just to keep trans people off of their backs, which didn't work anyway. That didn't work anyway. They still managed to find a reason to complain about it because the person's name was Serona Ryan. They still found a reason to complain about that trans character in Hogwarts Legacy, which is why you should not listen to weirdos like you when it comes to making a game or making a movie or making anything. Because it'll never be enough for you weirdos. It will never be enough for you weirdos. That's tokenism. That's what that... That's not tokenism. That is. Have a character who happens to be black. That's not tokenism. That's not tokenism. Having a character that was originally white, race swapped to black, is tokenism. But okay. Understand what it is that I'm referring to regarding the race swaps. You can go ahead and watch that video. They exist. It's also not a race swap. Having Miles Morales. That's a race swap. As black is not a race swap. That's a race swap. It's like I said already. It was a race swap. It's directly from Marvel executives who said it was a race swap. His character was created as black. Yes. Yes. After stealing Peter Parker's Spider-Man's origin story and power set. That is a token. Let's just look up really quick this thing about Resident Evil 5. Right? Let's look up the controversy that was Resident Evil 5. Right? Criticism, briefly, I want to describe the criticism against the trailer, as I understand. As Platt puts it, the trailer is problematic on so many levels, including the depiction of black people as inhuman savages, the killing of black people by a white man in military clothing, and the fact that the video game is marketed to children and young adults. Resident Evil 5 trailer, a white guy shooting mindless black dude is not socially acceptable in American society. So this is why they did things like put in couple of white people, Chinese people sprinkled in there because people thought it was offensive to be shooting black people as a white dude in Africa. That is mostly consistent of black people. Now, if you want to look up the definition of tokenism, right? Since you, I, know, I probably spelled it wrong. Tokenism. So we'll, we'll look at the definition of tokenism, right? Tokenism. The practice of doing something such as hiring a person who belongs to a minority group only to prevent criticism give the appearance that people are treated fairly. Let's see if we can find an Urban Dictionary version of this. Tokenism is the practice of policy of making no more than a token effort or gesture as an offering opportunities to minorities equal to those of the majority. So they took a majority character in Peter Parker. And, oh, here, here we go. Sorry. This is what actually I was looking for. Tokenism. The gender, race, or sexuality change of a pre-established character, it is purposeful and with intent. 
This is what the definition of tokenization is when in reference to Peter Parker being race swapped to be black in Miles Morales. But if you did any kind of research at all, this is what definition you would find in reference to what Eric July is talking about. Or if you took the time to watch this video when he talks about tokenization, you would understand what he's what his points being made are. But you're, again, you're too you're too stupid to do any kind of research. So let's move on to the next clip, reacting to Eric July's take on sex and gender. Roll the clip. The uh, the actual term gender, as we understand it, is in about thirty years. It's going to be about a one hundred year old term as an actual like distinction between. Sex yeah, and, and somehow it'll end up being the, the definition of gender, I'm sure, will be updated at some point because that's what commies tend to do. They tend to re try to rewrite history. Sex and gender. And we've had academic writings on how sex and gender are different for... You got this person down here. Keep going after him, sir. He's just so we can have this angry cringe lord be like Jake Stave. Like, who, what, is this even English? How is he cringe just by giving his opinion about a protect trans kids flag in a movie marketed to children? Eh, about as much time. By the way, there are only two genders. So if he says anything to the contrary, he's an idiot. One of the most prolific ones actually came out in the late 70s, early 80s, and that was Doing Gender. You can actually find a copy of that study uh, from JSTOR uh, or on JSTOR. It is there are only two genders, weirdo. Is a qualitative study that has over two uh, two thousand citations, and therefore is probably worth your time. Yes, and they're not based in biological facts. You cannot go against biology, which is essentially what you're saying that two thousand people went against simple biology that was established in religion, and in and in regular scientific theories, which became facts that. There are only two genders, male and female, to only two sexes, male, uh, man and woman. Also, Alley Cat, thank you for being Or <laughs> my big long round. And they could be going through all yeah. sorts of different things. I'm willing to bet that I thought I was a Ninja Turtle or something like that growing up. It's not legit. I have a question. Is Ninja Turtle something that we actually can be as human beings? No? Okay. No. Okay, then it's not valid. The whole point he said that to be is because... Just because as a kid he said he was a ninja turtle doesn't mean he's going to get surgery to become a, a turtle. That's the whole point he was making. But of course, once again, you do not, you lack the intelligence to understand the points that Eric July is making. A dragon is not something that a human being can be, so it's not valid. Yeah, and a man cannot be a woman and a woman cannot be a man. So what's your point? A cat is not something that a human being can be. Not valid. Gender, on the other hand, is well within the socially the, the social spectrum of what people can be. Yeah, either male or female. We can be a different gender. No, you cannot. You cannot change who you are biologically because DNA exists. Doesn't matter how many hormone hormone treatment or how much hormone treatment or puberty blockage you take you cannot change your gender because we can be human beings can be female can be male and because in any two points on the spectrum there's necessarily something in between even when you have the numbers one and there's nothing in between you're you're just retarded two there are there's an infinite number uh number of numbers in between one and two when you have two points on a what the fuck does numbers have to do with gender? Please. Please stop talking like you're a dumbass. Unless you want to just continue to sound like a dumbass and go right ahead. A bimodal spectrum, then you have shit in between. That shit in between isn't dragons, though. Like, there are things that are valid to be, and there are things that are not valid to be. But okay, let's keep going. All right, moving on to the next clip. VTuber's response to Eric July regarding normalization and the age a child realizes they are trans. Spoiler alert. Children are not trans. There's no such thing as trans kids. Trans kids do not exist. Roll the clip. But they find out when they're 46. Yeah, maybe caught by the parents or the teachers or something of that nature. But 
That's exactly the point that I've made many times. Uh, certainly, it ha it must be the parents or teachers that taught that. It is. Because it is. We've seen plenty of videos of t on TikTok about teachers and parents call saying their kids are trans or pansexual or whatever weirdo sexuality that weirdos on t TikTok came up with that day. Ignoring the fact that there are plenty of kids who identify outside of the gender that they were assigned at birth. No, there are not. That is called grooming. That is called a teacher or a parent who has groomed their child into manipulating their fragile little mind to believe that they are a gender that they are not. And yet have parents, and may even live in states, so therefore have teachers who are largely transphobic. No one is scared of trans people. Like, they wouldn't have any reason to actually be that gender as taught by somebody else. They just kind of exist as that. But okay, let's let's keep on going. It is that they are not. You're attempting to normalize the hate, the, that, that position. No, I'm not normalizing that position. Yes, you are. You've literally said that trans, that kids know they are trans between the ages of four and six. You fucking pedophile. I'm normalizing the position of if a child says they might be trans or believes... No. The only reason they would believe that is because it is taught by an adult to that child. Children typically do not give a fuck about those things. They don't even know what those things are. They have to be taught those things. And that is the only way that they can come to the, this, this conclusion. They have to be taught these things. Once again, children are impressionable. They don't know what they want to eat. They don't know how to dress themselves. They cannot consent. As they might be, then you just get them professional help. No, Ripa is not scared of gay people. That professional help may determine that they actually don't need to do anything. That professional help may suggest that you actually socially transition your child. Yes, because you are because that medical professional is also a groomer. Because again, we have to talk about this fine line of I don't care on what side of the political aisle you are, stop grooming children. Stop trying to warp the minds and shape the minds and confuse the minds of children. I don't understand what is so difficult of staying away from the minds of children. The most impressionable, the most precious thing on the planet. You simply cannot stay away from those human beings. It's not difficult. This isn't a hard concept to understand unless you are a psychopath like this guy. Let them pick their name, let them dress the way they want to dress, and it... No. If it ends up... They are children. You don't let children dress the way they want to dress. They are children. Being a phase, then it's a phase, and it drops off, and then you're all hunky-dory. No. But if it doesn't drop off, then around the age where they start experiencing puberty symptoms, you start administering puberty. Puberty is not a symptom. Puberty is a biological thing that happens to your body at a certain age. It is not a symptom. The fuck are you talking about? Blockers to block those symptoms so that you... Again, they are not symptoms can buy the time required for the child for when they actually are old enough to make that decision for themselves. No. You let the child grow as they should, as it has been naturally intended for a child to grow. Once again, you sound like a pedophile. I'm sorry. You just do. You don't make them make the decision for themselves. Any medical... You don't let them make the decisions because they're not old enough to understand the decisions that they're making if you're telling them that they can do be on puberty blockers or hormones full decision for themselves up until the point where they are able to make that decision that time is not four and six the hold on I'm gonna back that up real quick that time is not four and six you are the one that said that kids know they're trans between the ages of four and six. Are you now backtracking? The statement, most trans people realize they're trans early in life, as early as four and six. Yeah. No, they do not. Again, that is something that is taught by a teacher or a parent. 
who are essentially groomers. Actual research shows between 4 and 12. My orb Actual research by groomers that is not real science, that is not real knowledge. Y'all are groomers. Between 3 and 12, mind you. The actual research says between 3 and 12, but... The fact that you even believe this research that has nothing to do with bio actual biology is very creepy. And it's always a damn furry that's always got to be a creep. Y'all are just fucking weird, man. But either way, the statement, most trans people realize they're trans early on in childhood, is not an incorrect statement. We have it is 100% an incorrect statement because, once again, it is taught by an adult to an impressionable mind that absorbs information like sponges, and you confuse them and think that they're a gender that they are not. It's not a hard concept. It's just you want to normalize this pedo and groomer type of behavior. Moving on to the next clip. I don't give a crap about your god. Okay. You know the god that says there's only men and women, male and female? Okay. Like you, were, you were built that way. God made... You're essentially, you're essentially disrespecting someone else's religion. You're disrespecting someone's faith. You in the way that you are, and it's something... You know, I like when you do the whole, like, uh, God made you that way. I don't give a shit about your God. I don't. don't. I don't have any reason to believe your God exists. Let's not go... And that's perfectly fine. You're allowed to have that opinion, but no one really gives a shit. No one should really give a shit about an opinion from a furry who thinks that kids know that they're trans between the ages of four and six. I will never let you forget that, and the internet will never forget that you believe that kids know they're trans between the ages of four and six. Go ahead and bring him up. If you want to bring God up into this conversation, then he can speak for himself. But until such a time where he's able to do that, then I guess we'll just not worry about it. If you knew anything about God, the Bible was a book that was written by men that were t words taught to them by God. So technically, he's always speaking through the Bible, you idiot. But of course, because you don't respect people's religion, and you don't understand the concept of religion, you're going to say some ignorant ass shit that you have been saying. His opinion on the situation. I don't give a shit what God says until he decides to actually say it. Since he's not going to do that, and you and I both know that, we can continue past that point. Anubian, thank you for doing your- Or something that is going to, let's say, harm- Actually, we are talking about cancer. Hormone blockers were actually created specifically for the purpose of children who have early onset breast cancer. If we're- There is- really no children that have said thing because they do not have breasts typically children don't have breasts to enable to have breast cancer unless they're maybe early puberty and again even if they did it's a very low percentage which once again you're not you're making an argument with no evidence to back it up as always we're talking about the use of puberty blockers we are actually necessarily talking about cancer my dude, you couldn't even you couldn't even give the side effects of puberty blockers. Someone like me had to put it in a video f to make you look stupid. They were developed as a cancer treatment drug. That no, they were not. That is the history. No, they were not. Chemotherapy was a, something that was created to remove cancer. That was what was created. Not puberty blockers. Behind. They're called puberty blockers because they block puberty. It's literally in the name. And puberty blockers. But go ahead. Prove you haven't done even a little bit of research into the conversation. You have. You've already proved that you haven't done any research because you don't even know the side effects of puberty blockers. Go ahead, do it. Arm their. This is natural. Arsenic. Cancer. There's a lot of things that are natural. Natural doesn't mean it's good. If somebody's suffering from dysphoria, puberty may be natural, but it's not a good thing or a healthy thing for them. Yes, it is. It is a normal, natural, healthy thing for someone to go through puberty. It is part of the biological makeup of human beings. You fucking weirdo. Oh, we're talking as if it's normal. It's not normal, but normal is not a measurement of whether something is good or bad. Nobody gives a fuck about normal. It used to be considered abnormal to give people surgery of any kind. Normal is not a measurement that matters. It's a kid's, man. It's a shit if it's normal. Normal is not an argument. 
during that time, they operate... It doesn't mean transition in anything. It doesn't mean transition at all. Trans just means not. Like, like, okay, so... <sighs> Trans. Transgender. Shut the fuck up unless you do research. The fact that I have to even include this here is... is I, I'm doing your job for you. Trans means transgender. Literally what the fuck are you talking about? Let's get back into the clip. Cis means you do identify with your gender. Trans... All right. Let's look up the definition. Cisgender is a gender identity that aligns with a, with a with the sex a doctor assigned a person. No, this is incorrect. You are not assigned a gender when you're born. You are born a gender. You are not assigned. You don't get assigned a gender. You are born a gender based on your genitalia. You are not assigned it at birth. So no, you're incorrect once again. Please stop talking about things you know nothing about. It means you don't. That's all it is. Trans does not mean transition of all kinds. Trans doesn't even mean transition. It's one of the most awkward bits of language stuff, and it's one of the reasons that I don't... When I first started talking about trans... I'm pretty sure I know. Pretty sure Eric July knows what trans means. You don't have to explain it to him. He's intellectually more intelligent than you are. His issues a lot. I specific. Your IQ is like down here, and Eric's is like up here. Your 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 IQs and intelligence don't even compare or come anywhere close. Specifically disagreed with the usage of trans the way that we use it. He's using it in the right way. He's saying transgender kids don't exist. But again, your IQ is room temperature. Moving on to the next clip. VTuber provides scientific study on puberty block in response to Eric July. And I think it's funny that this groomer's own article says it causes sterilization and he didn't know what to say, so he just panned and changed the subject real quick at the end. Yep, and we're going to see that. Let's get into it. Puberty blockers. Let's go ahead and go into some of th This does not exist. This does not exist. What the fuck is gender diverse? God, people just make up words as we go now. The science of puberty blockers. So, uh, this is from the Mayo Clinic, which is a very, very trusted medical source that is... Yeah, a trusted medical source that is incorrect. You could be a trusted anything. You could be a trusted news source, as CNN likes to call themselves. They like to call themselves the most trusted news source, and they're fucking liars. So what the fuck does this have to do with anything? What the hell does being trusted have to do with being correct? Absolutely nothing. Utilized by doctors everywhere. Utilized by groomer doctors everywhere. Well, hormone that breast cancer survives off of is suppressed with puberty blockers. That's what they're for. Where does this man see this? Where? Used to suppress the medications most commonly used to suppress puberty are known as gonadotropin releasing hormone. What the hell is this guy talking about? Suppress, trans, choose to temporarily suppress puberty through the use of prescription medications called pubertal blockers. Where the fuck does this guy see anything about? Cancer. Where? Actual hormone that breast cancer survives off of is suppressed with puberty blockers. No. Puberty blockers do not suppress cancer cells. We have chemotherapy for that. Fucking idiot, man. That's what they're for. What? Again, nowhere in here does it say anything about suppressing cancer. Nowhere in here does it say that. What are the benefits of... In those identified as female birth, treatment limits or stops breast development and stops menstruation. So essentially stopping the things that make a woman a woman. 
Breast development and menstruation. Breasts that are used to nurture children. Nurture growing children. <laughs> of puberty blockers. Again, this is not my opinion. This is what medical science says, young Ripa. And again, no one is assigned a sex at birth. They're born the, birth, the sex and gender that they are. If you want to talk about what medical science says, then maybe you can talk to an expert on this. But I know you're not going to do th These guys are not experts. These are groomers. That Because that would require effort on your part. Yeah, he puts in a lot more effort into his content than you do. That would require literal anything on reduced depression and anxiety, improved social interactions, and inter- It does not do any of these things. And this has been proven time and time again that it does none of these things. Because the rate at which- Trans people self delete is is like ninety percent, ninety five percent, somewhere in that range. So it obviously doesn't work to do any of these things. But you don't want to talk about that because you know it would destroy your entire argument. Integration with other kids, eliminate the need for future surgeries. Holy shit! Wait a minute, eliminate the need for future surgeries? Wow, it's almost like. Wow, it's almost like puberty blockers eliminates all of the invasive stuff that you are worried about. It actually doesn't, because you're stupid. Once again, you are doing no research to back up that claim. God, weird. Weird what science does. Weird what retards do, who don't understand how showing evidence to back up claims means. And it thoughts or actions related to self-harm. Oh, we'll get it. And yet, and yet, somehow the percentage of trans people self-deleting themselves is anywhere in the upper 90s. Into that but you don't want to show that because it would destroy your argument once again. One, two, because I know Young Ripa's audience loves to quote 42% in my chat. For those who don't know, 42% is a dog whistle that is about the trans suicide rates. But we've already done research that shows that suicide rates of trans people is not related to them being trans, but it's... You have done no research. I've seen nothing from you. ...related to the social expectations that are put on people who are trans. But okay, less psychological, medical, or social problems that could interfere with the treatment. Oh, almost like there are controls in place that make use of whether or not kids should be getting this. We have controls in place to determine whether or not kids should get puberty blockers. Kids shouldn't get puberty blockers, period. There should not be an argument about children getting puberty blockers considering they cannot consent to this medication. Wow, weird that. Possible side effects of puberty blockers include injection site swelling, weight gain, hot flashes, and headaches. These are possible side effects of practically every medication humankind has ever created. And yet you're advocating for this anyway. So you essentially made the point that it's bad and yet you're still advocating for it. Wow, you're dumb. The, ir the irony. Use of puberty blockers also might have long-term effects. Might, mind you, not will. Semantics. Gaslighting. Semantics and gaslighting. Might have long-term effect on growth spurts, bone growth and density, and future fertility, depending on when the puberty blockers were started. Now, again, this is not the same thing as sterilization. Yes, it is. This means that it can have an effect on puberty. You know what else can, or it can have an effect on fertility? So worried about the fertility of children, I'm wondering how Catholic you are. Oh, you're a weirdo. You really are a weirdo. Holy hell, you just continue to expose how fucking weird you really are. Here, yeah, Holy hell. Oh, we went to that clip already. V2 presents more evidence to support his claim says Air July fans do not want to educate themselves. Okay, I don't think so. You can't even you can't even do simple research about tokenization, yet you're somehow telling other people that they don't want to educate themselves. Yet you don't want to look up Eric July's video on things like tokenization or anything he actually talks about, and somehow you're saying other people don't want to educate themselves. You've fully admitted that you don't watch Eric's content, yet somehow you're criticizing the content. There are trans people who are adults right now that require surgery for what they've already had. So... You may ask yourself, young Ripa, I know you're not, because you're not going to watch this entire video. I I'm pretty sure he will, because he'll 100% monetize your dumbass. And he'll make a lot more money than you'll ever make in your ever see in your entire life. I trust you not to do that. 
<laughs> that actually the, the point that you the actual point that you think that he's not going to watch your entire video is is laughable it's quite laughable but you may ask yourself as well what other actual things would we do for trans kids well nothing because trans kids don't exist the fact that once again you think they exist is very groomerish and very pedophilic i got you there turns out PBS News Hour did an entire segment on this that we can look into. And oh, because they're full of groomers as well. By the way, if you're wondering if this is the fact that PBS is typically a channel that uh, that is associated with children's shows, the fact that they're talking about things like this towards puberty blockers for children is very creepy. It's very weird and very creepy based on any actual studies. We've got studies on gender identity five years after social... Because let's, let's see, let's go I'm back. I'm wondering if this is based on... The drugs known as GNRHN agonizes block the brain from releasing key hormones involved in sexual maturation. So you're essentially stopping the biological, natural things that are supposed to happen to a child as they grow. Disgusting. On any actual studies... We've got studies on gender identity five years after social transition that you can read. Uh, it's in volume 50, issue two uh, from the Academy, American Academy of Pediatrics. Screenshot whatever you want here. I'll even zoom in on it for you if you would like to read. For those of you who actually enjoy reading scientific studies, I am not one of those for those read to read. Transgender youth. Ah. <sighs> God, weirdos. For those of you who actually enjoy reading scientific studies, I am not one of those people, but I will. So why are you arguing anything if you're not going to read what you're trying to argue against? God, I swear, you make my brain hurt, and you make me feel stupid every time I listen to you talk. I'll do it when I need to. You'll do it when you need to, not during the times that you're trying to make arguments about claims that a YouTuber that knows more about this than you do. But this was actually a very, very helpful study that was done. Uh, yes, we understand that you can you can read a bunch of studies about a bunch of groomer scientists doing a bunch of groomer things, and somehow you happen to believe that because it's the science. It's the same dumbass argument that people made about the coof. The science says this, and the science says that. Yeah, well, the science says bio biological sex is real. Fucking weirdo. The results suggest that retransitions are infrequent. Uh, more commonly, transgender youth who socially transition at early ages do continue to identify that way. Yes, youth that you have groomed and put your impressionable ideology into their brain. Yes, that makes perfect sense. I cannot believe that someone would honestly read and listen to this and think this is okay to do to children. And I got a comment that said that this person was awesome. No, no, they are not. If you have the intention of doing any of this type of stuff to children, you are evil. Point blank, period. You have no arguments whatsoever. You have no arguments whatsoever. So since we've... There was no argument to be made about doing this type of disgusting things, disgusting stuff to children understood that we've done studies that show that kids who socially transition early tend to stay that way kids who identify as a different and it seems like every kid who stays that way ends up regretting it or ends up self-deleting themselves but you're not going to talk about that because it would destroy your narrative once again gender tend to stay that way and we've already gone through the entire article on what puberty blockers do let's also you did not go through the entire article please stop lying so go into oh we've got the mental health article too we'll get into that one here in a second uh let's go ahead and get into the other medical treatments that trans people might go into because you know i'm just asking young ripa's audience to educate themselves I... i'm pretty sure most of them have educated themselves because eric july brings all the facts when he talks about a topic that he's passionate about but like you said already you do not watch eric's videos so how would the hell would you know that because you wouldn't I know he's not going to watch the video and educate himself. But we've already gone over puberty blockers. We've done all of that. It's opposite sex, older identity. 
for those choosing the second of estrogen or testosterone element in puberty. Usually involves. Yeah, I don't need to listen to the rest of this. Let's just move on to the, what was probably the last clip. Oh, there might be three more clips. Great. This is going to be like an hour video. You know, for you to read on your own time, like a lot of things, because I trust you to fucking read. Probably a good idea. Every now and again, maybe read. I trust you to actually listen to Eric July's content and know who you're criticizing before you start criticizing them. Read. Reading is good. But of course you're not going to do that. And you want to take your own advice about reading is a good thing. You should probably read yourself. And the fact that you're reading about all these different treatments for children and you're okay with it tells me that you're probably a pedophile and they should check your hard drive and see what disgusting things you probably have on it. That one I don't need to look at. It's almost like peer review scientific research says one thing in dipshits who run a comic channel have opinions socially say something else. There's nothing where can say that can prove my video false because I follow the science. Well, that's really the only thing I need from that. I don't need to listen to the rest of this clip here. The fact that you're going with follow the science like I've already stated is like the same stupid people that went through it's the science or I am the science or this is the science when it came to Koof. Meanwhile, people were scared of something that had a 99.9% .9 survival rate for people any for people under the age of, I think it was 60. And somehow the science says this, but the facts prove otherwise that that was something that you really shouldn't have been afraid of. It was basically a it was basically an enhanced flu essentially so uh, i really didn't want this video to be too long but i had to get through all these clips and give my thoughts on all of these so thank you all for checking it out hopefully you made, if you made it this far and you enjoyed the content hit the like button comment below your feelings about all this like i said do not harass or interact with these people on their social media leave all your comments below subscribe for more content hit the bell for notifications set it to all that we get notifications anytime i post a new video and i will see you all on the next one Peace.